Welcome. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of T and Pearl Sister Chat. I'm Andrea Merriman, your Creative Harmony Coach, and I have with me Cindy Allen Stuckey. And we are going to talk to you tonight, and I hope you can join us in. For those of you who are catching the replay, um, leave your comments also. Join in and let us know what you're thinking. Cindy, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me, Andrea. And so we were just talking, and some of you may have heard us talking about being in Indiana and I'm in North Carolina, and how cold is it there tonight? Oh, it's probably night, probably upper 30s. We've been having really warm weather. Normally, oh, that by is? Now, we would have, normally by now we would have snow and we've been having rain. So that is warm for you guys in Indiana, for sure. Mm -hmm. So, Cindy, I know we haven't talked a lot. We just kind of met here online, and I wanted to, um, and once we got to talking and understanding everything, I wanted us to be able to sit and chat a little bit. And I thank you for um, coming in and giving me your time and talk a little bit more about leadership and tell us a little bit about you, Sandy. All right. Um, well, I'm in probably my third or fourth different career. Uh, I've made lots of shifts. And that's what, you know, my whole program now. I started out as an elementary teacher, first grade. I loved it at the time, but I also knew once I had children that I was not going to be able to teach the way I wanted to teach and, and raise my son. So I ended up, once he was born, I ended up, I quit teaching, went through a divorce, and then went through a time with, okay, God, so what am I supposed to be doing now? <laughs> and thank goodness we have a plan, because I sure don't have it. <laughs> And, and the, the day that I transferred my last amount of money from savings into checking and thought, okay, I have to do something now. So I started making phone calls to everybody that I knew. And I ended up working in a, in a, a sales office here where, where I live. We have a Fortune 200 company here. And so I ended up working at a, in a sales office there. That was my first, you know, kind of entry into business and industry. And I realized I absolutely loved it. <laughs> and, and um but i also really saw how you know the whole piece as far as how people learn and you know and, and how you develop people and how you treat people I, I saw that that combined with business and industry and i just saw such a fit and realized that this was where i was supposed to be so um i ended up working in three global manufacturing organizations i've always been about the people piece um as far as you know, I feel like the only real competitive advantage a company has over another one, and that's their people. And, um, and I know with what you do, I know you see that too, Andrea, all the time. But like I said, like I said it has to do with the people and developing them. That's the only way that the company is, is going to grow. Another, and so I, you know, I really was all about the whole people piece. And I ended up getting promoted to a position um, that I didn't want. However, the president was just fabulous, absolutely fabulous. And I took it because of him. And six weeks after I took it, he was replaced. And when I talked with the new president, in the first week I knew I was in trouble because he didn't care about the people piece at yeah. all. And um, I think 10 months later is when I resigned my job. Uh, because, and I'd always wanted to start my own company. And I decided, that was when it was going to be. So that was when I started making performance matter. And um, up until about a year ago, I focused on working with leaders in business and industry and helping them be able to coach um, their employees, develop their employees, have these difficult conversations. And um, about a year ago, I had a total thyroidectomy and everything was fine. However, in coming through that, there was this little whisper that just kept saying, Cindy, you need to be working with women. And I just kept saying, just focusing on women. I just kept saying, no, I don't. <laughs> I louder and I just refused. No, I don't know why you're saying this. So one day I actually said this to a friend. I said, I have to tell you what I just keep hearing. And I told her and she said, well, of course, I've always known that. <laughs> so 
then I put it on Facebook that night and that was what I heard from everybody. So you've heard me use the word shift several times. That was one of my big shift. Um, the program I have now is called Yes, Shift Happens. Uh, and if shift doesn't happen, then you're going to have a word that sounds something, something like, like that. <laughs> yeah. And we all, get, we all get into that. And it's, it's, it's where I help um, determined and passionate women entrepreneurs and leaders identify their limiting beliefs and actions and then shift to the mindset, a shift from the mindset of um, life happens to the mindset of, mindset of I create my own life. So. And I found that, you know, in, in what I do now working with a lot of victims of domestic violence as they turn into thrivers or survivors of domestic violence. And, and there's the, I hear that same thing that there needs to be that paradigm shift to get from that one place to the other. And that's a growing process. That's a healing process. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and that's one of the reasons that I've, um, dedicated my conference this year to just a healing weekend so that they're able to get moved past that piece and make that shift. So I keep hearing or seeing when I'm talking to you that number 500. What is, what, what is 500? Okay, very good. Very good question. Now. When I decided over this past year, as I've been putting the whole program in place, and um, I just decided that I'm on a mission to help 500 determined and passionate women make this shift. Um, and I've had a lot of people say, so is this going to be one-on-one? -on -one? Is this going to be in a group? And I said, you know, it's however it's supposed to work out. It's how is exactly how it works out. But I just feel I'm so passionate about women. We have so much potential. And, you know, I even look in Washington, D.C., and I am, you know, I, I keep thinking, you know, if, if, if there were w women in there, we know how to sit down and have these conversations. We know how to, to work through all of this. And I know you see them where you work, Andrea. Um, and you know, I, I talk to women and I just hear this so much. You know, we're carrying all this baggage with us as far as we're not enough. You know, we're not good enough, smart enough, old enough, young enough, pretty enough, tall enough, short enough, all of this. And it's all, all these old tapes playing and that we have just heard various, it served us maybe one time, but these there are all of these old tapes that, you know, that are playing here. And again, I know you know exactly what I'm talking about and I'm sure our listeners do too, as far as this, I'm not enough. And um, so I just, I just decided when I was working on this that I, and somebody said, is this gonna be in the year or what? And I said, I can't tell you exactly. It'll work out the way it's supposed to, but I just want to help 500 women make this, make this shift. And, and, and I can see you being on the way because I've, like I said, we've only talked a couple of times and, you know, some of it was through messaging and it still just seemed like we resonated, like you say, on the same thing and understanding that that process needs to happen for women and I know when I got into it, I wanted to work with teens and, and I kept hearing, no, the women need you. And I was like you, I'm like, but the, the teen women, you know, <laughs> no, no. <Come> on. <laughs> and so sometimes when you're called to do something, you're pushed into that spot or gently nudged real hard, you know? Yeah. Or if, or if you don't get the nudges, you're pushed harder. <laughs> right. That's why I said nudged real hard. That's right. So yeah. if you, um, as, as you're working in these 500 women, tell, tell me something about this Shift Happens um, program that you're working on. Because I really think that I, what you've told me, I've been really excited about. Well, thank you. And I am really excited about it also. First of all, I, need, I have to give credit to my virtual assistant. She and I have worked together for about six years. And when I say virtual assistant, she is so much more than that. You know, <laughs> we sit down and strategize. You, a good one usually is. <laughs> no, we sit down and, and strategize. And again, about a year ago, it just so happened that the last quarter of 2017, I suddenly had all these, imagine this, these women groups to speak to. I had speaking engagements. And again, I kept thinking, I get it. Okay, I get this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I, and I have this wonderful, amazing content that I've developed over the years. 
So I was talking to my, to my virtual assistant and I said, I have this wonderful content. And I said, but I, I, I don't know what to call it. And she said, yes, shift happens. And I said, yes, she said, no, Cindy, that's it. I'm like, oh, you're, ex you're, exact you're exactly right. So I have to give credit to her for this because my, I would have called it something about change your mindset or something like that. Right, right. <laughs> not creative at all. So, so I, I have three levels. And the first level is, um, you know, is I implemented that probably back in somewhere in October. So maybe about two months ago. And that is, that's a free, that is, that program is free. Um, it's, I'm, it's a Facebook group and the name of that, I'm just in the process of changing it on the group. The name of that is the shift begins. And Ooh, that, like yeah, that, that, that is to teach the steps. Um, you hear me say teach. So once an educator and always an educator. It's always. Yeah. Yes. So that's to teach the steps, um, to move from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. So, you know, I have Facebook lives out there. Um, you know, I post all types, you know, various things out there. I've been posting, um, not, first of all, just, you know, a, just here are all the steps, but now I'm doing one step at a time and I'm getting ready, um, to do a, a an event, a webinar for that group. Uh, and I actually had a contest last week. We were almost, we were like at 95. And so I told everyone that, you know, if, if they, if the we, the 100th person, if it's somebody that they referred, they would get a, a three months complimentary coaching session with me. Ooh. Yeah. So, well, I tell you, several of those ladies got busy and I even had to look at the time. <laughs> you know, but, okay. So who came in first here? I really had to look at that. So it's, you know, it's, it's just getting the steps out there that I use. And like I said, this is free. The next level is um, called 90 day shift. And you know, really in order to change a habit, you have, to, you have to be able to apply it, you have to get feedback on it, you, know, you, have to, you just have to keep working. And I feel like 90 days is you know, a, you know, a really good uh, time for this. So we have um, a weekly content webinars. I'm putting together, and I've been recording this week, I'm putting together the Success and Shift Academy. And that is, you know, that's, that's training with a workbook. We have, um, I'll have a, a, a monthly coaching call. So they'll have three in that three months there. Uh, I'll have a monthly open office. So they can, they can call in um, and, you know, talk about anything they want. And in fact, I'm getting ready. Not, it's not completely announced yet. I'm, wor I'm working on it. But I'm getting ready to um, uh, an announce and a program on, uh, you know, get in now on, on this first three months, a really, you know, really good price. And I was hoping that I was going to have it. We had it all finalized by tonight. <laughs> uh, and I, that's the program that I have been piloting over the past year has been this, this whole 90 day shift just to see how that's going to work. And then the third level is a program that will be announced probably about midway through 2019. And that's called Life Shift. And it's a year-long program. And it's to not just be able to make these shifts, but to really look at how do you sustain this and look at, looking at all parts of your life. So, oh, and in the 90-day shift, what we also have is they set a 90-day goal. We identify what your fixed mindset is saying about this. And then what do you want your growth mindset to say? And then how do we move through that? So again, you can, you can hear the, you can see here and see the educator coming through in all of this. <laughs> but, I love but, it. <laughs> but again, so we have the shift to begin and then 90 day shift and then life shift are the three levels. So let me ask you, and, 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 you know, you and I have talked and if you're working with someone or if you know someone and you feel that they need something different, how, how do first? How do I identify myself that it's time for a shift? Ah, very good question. <laughs> um, and you know, you know what I find is, you know, it's building that relationship and it's talking. It's talking with people. And for me, I can just you know usually ask a few questions. And one of the ones that I start out almost everything with 
let me, let me think how it's worded. So what would you want to have accomplished one year from now if there was nothing out of reach? So what I say is, all right, so we're sitting down here um, next year on December 19th, you know, 2019, and what are you going to be telling me that you accomplished if nothing were out of reach? And as people start talking about that, many times the light bulb goes off with, but I can't do that. And I'll say, well, you nothing's out of reach. <laughs> it's out of reach. And I will say, so why is it out of reach? Well, you know, I don't know how to use Zoom, or I don't know, I've never been able to do that, or I've always been told I couldn't do that, or I tried it more than once, and, and you know, I, I, just, I just couldn't do that. So again, I know, I know you work with people, so I know you understand this completely, but it's, it's sitting down asking some of these questions and planting some seeds um, for people to all of a sudden say, for me to be able to say, all right, so, you know, what, what does this go back to? Well, you know, when I was in, I can speak to myself, when I was in first grade and such and such and such happened, so it's sitting and it's sitting and talking, just asking some of these questions. But usually that one is one with, you know, people can come up with what we, you know, what, what we do here from now. But then we all say, you know, but, but, but I can't do that. And that's then where I can really start talking with them. Um, so I'm going to, so I'm going to ask you, Andrea. So one year from now, if nothing were out of reach. <laughs> <laughs> What would you and I be talking about as far as what? So just, you don't have to answer, but you can just think about it. <laughs> well, and, and, and I do, and I've started thinking about that because, you know, this time of year, you talk about making vision boards, you talk about your vision. I have a really good friend. What she does at the beginning of every year is write herself a, a letter for the future, for the wow. end of the year. That's and so, idea. you know, I talk about that. So this time next year, um, one, I want Zoom to be working real good so we don't have to sit and play on that. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to be at the place, too, until I can have more conversations like this, maybe on a podcast or more, not just on the Facebook thing, but just to say, to take this out there. And like you said, I believe that to make a change and just a shift in everything we're seeing in women we're going to have to have those conversations that people don't feel comfortable having. Exactly. exactly. Because, because, you know, you've, ident you've identified your goal. So then, you know, my question back to you is, so what's preventing you from doing this? Me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's exactly, exactly what it is. And then actually I had a, it ran last week and then it's running this week again, but I will get you the videos. I did a five day massive action challenge. And each day, um, and like I said, we did it last week and then we did an encore, we did an encore one this week. But each day that um, the people that participated, they, you know, they get an email with a link. Um, uh, and I'm giving them some tool to help them be more successful in 2019. So one of them was, uh, um, plan for 14 minutes a day and you know I talk about why and how another one was so what is my purpose and how do I start with that um, I, I'm trying to think another one was um, do some type of do a do a 90-day challenge um, and, and you know talk about what your results are actually going to be so like I said I will since I have them all <laughs> I, I will send, I will send you those videos you know, they're maybe four or five minutes long, but I was, I'll send those to you. Just maybe it's going to spark something, you know, in your mind to help something you. Something more to do. Well, I'd appreciate it. Definitely. I'm always, like you said, I'm an educated heart too. I'm always teaching, learning, but I'd love to learn every time there's something new. I want to go. I had to have one boss tell me, you cannot go to every training somebody advertises for. You know, yeah. <laughs> you've got to stay in the office and work at some point. You know, <laughs> and, and I always, I always said, you know, I could be a student forever, and I don't mean taking college classes or anything. But it, real, what I really always have meant is learning. And that's one of the reasons I do this Tim Pearl Sister Chat and the ones that I have the the little mini boutiques I have live, is because I learn from so many different people. Every guest that I have on, I pick up something, and it may be like you said, we understand each other at some point, 
but there's always something that you're doing a little bit different or saying different because of who you are that sparks another piece of what I have and it kind of puts that piece together. So yes. when we can continue to learn from each other like that, I think is awesome. And um, and one of the things that I wanted to say, because you took that step and moved from corporate and into what you're doing now for people who are thinking about maybe that's what they want to do or um, working toward that, how did you find that courage? How did you say, okay, here we go. I'm going to do it. Well, you know, I, um, with, you know, I, I was in HR and I actually then was um, a corporate director of HR for North America um, in, the, in the position that I left. And I had some people telling me, Cindy, you can't leave a job like this. And I, watch me. Yes, I can. <laughs> um, and, I, and there were, there were several reasons that I could do it. Um, I don't know, probably about 10 years before I left, I had gone through and actually identified my, my four top values. Um, and then I also had written my personal, you can call it a passion statement, a mission statement, you know, what, you know whatever you want to call it. And, um, and I had many of the people that I worked with, I had them do that. So then when it came to some of these decisions, you know, bounce that decision against your values, bounce that decision against, against your, um, you know, your mission or your passion statement. And I would love to say that I remember to do that when I was getting ready, when I, when I was so unhappy, but it took one of the, one of the gentlemen, an engineer that I'd worked with, and he was in talking to me at, you know, about something. And what he asked me was a question that I had asked so many people, but I, I'm so glad he asked it to me. And he said, Cindy, you always say that, you know, when, when your job aligns with what your passion is, that's the most perfect place you could be. He said, so does this job align? I said, no. <laughs> no. And then, and then he immediately said, oh, I wish I hadn't asked you that. <laughs> Isn't it amazing when that mirror does this? I know. And I needed that because I needed somebody to ask me that. I, I couldn't ask that, number one. And number two, you know, I was just, I was just so unhappy. You know, I was down to, you know, I was working on reports and attendance reports and FMLA and all of that. And that's not what I'm about, about at all. But the other thing is I was doing a lot of traveling um, in that position uh, to a Europe and I had always told my family that if I knew long enough, if I knew I was going to be going you know, ahead of time, we would plan a family vacation. So we went, we, I did know, and we went, we went to Italy and um, I just had this life changing experience there. Um, I, and I said several times, it was my family and my, and my son, who's an adult. And I just kept saying, I can, can you believe this? I, I was brought up in a cornfield in central Indiana. <laughs> I am here seeing, you know, the Vatican or something. And after a while, they finally said, Cindy, we believe it. Would you just believe it? <laughs> right, right. But that one, I mean, and I even said at that time, I don't know what's going to come about because of this, but I know this is a life-changing experience. And it really was, you know, it's just, Life is too life is too short to be this unhappy. And um, you know, I was it's you know, I'm I'm about I'm about growing people and growing the organization and I wasn't doing that. And when I looked at my guiding values, even though I knew them, but when I actually when I was cleaning out my desk and I pulled that book out and looked, I'm thinking, well, you know, no wonder I was just so unhappy there. It was because everything that makes me me, I wasn't able to do. Wasn't able to do. And that is, you know, you you said a mouthful just there, because so many times we forget that and we think of where well, we got to pay the bills, and we do, you know, mm -hmm. understand that. But somewhere down there, we, there needs to be some plans. There need to be some making that passion statement, making setting those core values, seeing where what you're doing is aligning with those core values, and seeing where that's going to take you. Because if you're miserable doing your job, although you're doing your best, it's not really your best because you're not your best. Right. That is exciting. And, you know, and I had gone from love, you know, being there 10 years and loving it every second to, like I said, the first week that the new CEO was there. And I asked him what were his expectations, you know, for, for my department. 
and he, he, he was from a different country. He said to keep him illegal. And I thought he didn't realize everything else that we, you know, that we had in place because of people. And it didn't take me long at all to realize he didn't care. Um, and we, I mean, you know, when it really goes back to, I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm working, you know, with a five or six year old or I'm working with who knows how tall and how big someone is, you know, it's all about helping people reach their fullest potential, wherever that is. Um, you know, if you're here and you want to be there, then let's make you the very best that we can be. You know, if you're here and whatever that step is. So, I mean, it all goes back to that's what I've done my entire life. You know, I would yeah. play teacher with my dolls. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, so when, you know, and as long as I was able to do that, that was wonderful. But, you know, when I was doing, I mean, we all have to do reports and stuff, but to me, the programs that, you know, we put in place were gone. And all of a sudden it's, you know, it was when that, when that engineer asked me, and I said, no. And in fact, when he found that, the day that I turned in my resignation, he came in and he said, I wish we never would have had this conversation. Have that conversation. <laughs> we'll be leaving. And, and I, I said to him, and I said, Scott, I, I would have figured it out eventually. You just helped me figure it out. Help me get there. Yes, yes. So what would you, would you have done anything differently? I would have early on, my thought process was, well, I'm smart. I can figure out how to run a business. <laughs> and I believed that for a little while. Um, and because the, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, well, you know, I've seen all of this done. I would have gotten help earlier, whether it was, and I think we need different types of coaches throughout our life. Yes. And at that time, I, it would, you know, get, getting somebody to help me with, you know, the strategy and the vision and, and all of that all of that piece. Um, but, and the other piece is getting somebody to help me. And as much as I always hated the word selling, we are out here all the time selling ourselves. We're providing a service. But, and I just resisted that. I'm not, I always said, I'm not selling. I provide a service. And um, I, I, about three or four years ago, I hired a coach who is wonderful. Um, and he helped me get to a point. It was, I had to do with sales and marketing. He helped me get to the point I was. And just about two months ago, as I'm thinking, all right, you know, I don't know how to market all of this. So I got a hold of him again. And even though it was one of these, man, I don't have the money to spend on that. I'm thinking, no, Cindy, if you're serious about this, this is what you have to do. So it would be getting help earlier. Like I said, my virtual assistant, oh my gosh, she is, she, she is wonderful. But it's the whole, you know, well, yes, we do sell. And a lot of us do not have any idea how to sell. And, and I agree with that. I, I spoke, um, I, I think it was in September, October, whenever I was at an event. And one of the things I told them, and some of them looked at me like I grew a unicorn. <laughs> um, and, but I told them, I said, if you're sitting here and you're thinking you're going to be a business coach or transformational or whatever you think you're going to be, and you think you're going to do it without a coach, you're dead in the water. That's right. And you know, it's, it's you not going to happen. You may know enough to get you where you are now, but you don't know that next step. You don't know. You don't know. Um, I hear uh, Lisa Nichols say all the time, you don't know what you don't know. Exactly. That was exactly it. Yeah. And when I said, when I realized, but again, I get the, well, I'm smart. I can do this. And then when my next step was, I realized I didn't know. <sighs> it's called what do I do now I have no idea what what to do and again you need different skill sets and different coaches I think throughout depending on you know depending on where the gap was um, and for me you know my what, you know my biggest gap was this whole sales and marketing piece so yeah. in fact I talked to my coach uh, I guess on Monday of this week and I and I was telling him okay so I want to talk about how I'm going to release this and everything so I told him and he said, would you, would, you, would you like to hear a different way of thinking about it? And I said, exactly. That's why I have you. Right. <laughs> Plus, you know, he's, I mean, he's, he's very successful. And it's called, yes, otherwise, otherwise I sit here. And I, I mean, I have a home office. You know, otherwise I sit here. And the only person, the only input I have is mine. And, I, and it always makes sense in your head. I know. It just makes so much sense. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, but like you said, you know, I don't even know what I don't know. So for him to say, okay, so would you like to think about how I'd approach this? Yes, I would. That's why I have you. Yes. Right. And then all of a sudden it's called, well, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yes, that is a whole lot better than. Right, right. Yes. And, and, and it's not to change what you're doing, but to basically enhance. A good coach can take what you say, enhance it, still let it have your flavor. Exactly. And, and get to the, your target audience, you know, in a better fashion. Exactly. And that's what this was. Exactly. You know, some of the things I was pulling together, okay, I'm going to do a webinar and I'm going to have this and this, this, this and this in here. That's when he said, have you thought about having, that's more than one webinar in there as far as the material and the purpose. That's true. Yes. Yes. So, so let's, you know, so let's really look at, you know, what, what is the purpose of this one? What is the purpose of that one? Right. But, but like I said, it's again, you know, I just, I thought well, I'm smart. I know how to do this. Well, you know, when you work with a corporation or, a, uh, you know, an organization, there are people out there that are bringing in clients or customers. You, I mean, you know, I did, I was, I dealt with people, but you know, people would come and apply and want to work there and, you know, want to be developed. Um, and you know, we had a huge sales department and so you're used to all of this being done. And you're all of that. Yeah. You know, when you have a <laughs> You're the sales department, you're the HR, you're the CEO, you're, you're, you know, and yes. so, yeah. And, and that's the thing we need to do because we need to pull in, you know, because I've gone out and, and one of the things I thought, well, if I just have this software and I have this and I have yes. that, this is going to make, and as soon as I put that video out there, everybody's going to jump out and buy it, you know, <laughs> and <laughs> that would be so great. But, you know, and I had to look at it and say, okay, so what am I doing? Is it my sales copy? You know, am right. I not using the right words? Um, then I had to because a lot of, and, and what I'd like to tell people that are is definitely working from a passion standpoint, turning their pain into passion or however they want to, you know, put those words together. One of the things I continue to tell people, you need to heal first. So I had to step back and I take a whole year and I worked with a transformational coach. So I had to make sure that I was past this point so that I wouldn't project in that negative energy into other people. Yeah. Or, or, you know, or the people don't want to hear your, I mean, it's not a, it's not about you when you're working with them. And I, what I see so much is, uh, and here is all of a sudden people are saying, Oh yeah. Now, you know, let, let me tell you about me. And it's called, that's not what it's about. You know, it's not yeah. about, it's about them. So, and so, and that's why I just want to agree because there's just so many things and, and I don't want people who watch this replay or hear this to, to think we're saying, Oh, go get a coach. Cause we're both coaches, but it's to be okay. It's just like, even if that coach for you is a counselor, if exactly. you need to go out and get a counselor, go out and do that. If you need to go out and get a business coach, don't feel bad because you don't know that aspect of your business go out and do that. And that may be part of your shift. Yes. Your shift exactly. may, may even be the. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. And, and I remember when, um, when I finally decided I needed some help with marketing, you know, again, my, my background is not sales and marketing. So I had set by myself, and this was early on and put together in my mind, this perfect marketing piece. And I have what I call a personal advisory board. Um, and so I sent it, you know, I sent it out to them. And I just knew they were going to come back and say, oh my gosh, Cindy, this is perfect. Within a short amount of time, I heard from two of them saying, I don't get it. And immediately my thought was, what do you mean you don't get it? And I was going to explain it to them. And all of a sudden it's called, no, this is what you need to be hearing. Because again, I was going to take all this time to explain. Because I'm thinking, you know, these are the five or six people that know the most about me, that know the most about my business. And they're all of a sudden saying, I don't get it. So, you know, so I got on the phone and I said, all right, so help me understand um, what is it that you're seeing in there that isn't me. Um, and that was when, because again, I would have sent it out and if they didn't get it, I could, I could assure you that some of these new people. Who don't know, don't know you and don't know what you're all about are going to get it. So if they don't get it, you know, it's just out there. And, and that would have been the first impression of me. 
And that was when that was when I realized, and I got some marketing help. But that was when I realized I don't know a thing about this. <laughs> <laughs> and I have lots, of, and I continue to have them. But, all right, I'm here. Okay, I, you know I've, I've done all of this stuff, and I'm here, and everything's okay for a while. And then it's called no, it's not. <laughs> now I need to learn about this. Yeah, and that's part of it. That's part of it. Well, I don't want to keep you, and um, again, I appreciate you working with me through this getting on late and everything, but before I let you go, what is the one thing you want to leave them with? Oh, um, it's, it, it goes back to my yes, shift happens piece, and that is that, you know, inside of all of us is so much potential. Um, and we many times have been through, you know, all types of stuff and we, we can't see that. And so I, so I think it, it's, this, it's expanding your network and these Facebook groups are a great way to do that because you have all of these people coming from, you know, from different backgrounds and, you know, 99% of the chance even they want to help. But I think it's, you know, it, it's don't be afraid to take that next step or don't be afraid to take that risk. I look, I look, I, I almost always try to look at it with, okay, so what's, what's the best thing that could happen and what's the worst thing that could happen if I do this? And so the worst thing is whatever. And then I ask myself, can I live with that? And sometimes it's yes. Sometimes it's, if it's no, then I will say, okay, so what part of it can you live with? So at least be taking a step forward instead of being stuck. And, you know, we've all been stuck, I mean, about many things in our lives. Um, and, I just, you know, I just, I just want the women listening to this to realize that there's just so much potential inside of all of us. And reach out, you know, reach out to, you know, if there's someone you see out on Facebook, and we all do this. I see someone, I think, oh, my gosh, they have it so together. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, you know. You know, reach out, ask a question, ask if you can have a phone call, but take, take a step and to, to get out of being stuck. All right. Take a step. Don't be stuck. Don't be stuck. That's right. So how can they get in touch with you? All right. Um, my email address is Cindy and at and the name of my company. So it's Cindy, C-I-N-D-Y at makingperformancematter.com. Um, I'm on face, very active on Facebook. And, um, and then my phone number, it's my, hey, it's, my, it's my cell number and I have it with me at all times, is 812-343-4366. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. This has been a wonderful conversation. Um, I think somebody's gonna look at this and say, hey, this is the piece that I need. Could be, and, I hope so. <laughs> and I'm sure we will be doing this again because I like to go back and bring you back in and kind of hear how your program's going and what other pieces you have for us. Um, stay active in the group. If they're on Mondays is when we do support a sister day. Okay. And so if you want to come in on Mondays and put your um, advertisement for what you're working on or that type thing feel free to do that also and the rest of you know it's posted what the days are but i know monday is a day for that so if you have that you're running another special or something you're welcome to do that and then a lot of times the other pieces we do are inspirational motivational um and just kind of help each other out because most of the ladies in there or or either in the corporate world or trying to grow their own business. So we want to put things in there to help them move. All right. Well, it was so nice to have a chance to talk with you. And, um, you know, I look forward with us talking again. All right. Appreciate it. Thank okay. you, everyone, for joining us another week. Until next week, I'm Andrea Merriman, your Creative Harmony Coach, and I wish you hope, health, and harmony. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.